Good afternoon and welcome to the Catholic community of St. Francis Xavier in Hunt Valley, Maryland as we begin this uh, tenth week in ordinary time. So let us pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Coming together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us turn to our good God acknowledging our sinfulness and seeking reconciliation with God and our neighbor. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come to us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us your peace and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray together. O God, who call, caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us now listen attentively to the word of God. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives whom I serve, during these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here, go east, and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the, uh, of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer you f your foot to slip. <coughs> May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up, to the, up the mountain and after he had sat down, the disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who, pers who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for, their for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. 
This is the beginning of the Beatitudes. Whenever we read just the Beatitudes themselves in the beginning of uh, chapter 5, these first 12 verses, we think that's the end of the Beatitudes. The next three chapters after that, into chapter 8, will explain what all this is about. It will give us a guide for living, how we're to be followers and disciples of Jesus. He wants us to be those peacemakers, and boy, do we need peacemakers today with all the rioting that has been going on for people seeking justice and demanding the end of the brutality of our, our police forces. We have to be those peacemakers so that we can end all this injustice, all this evil that's taking place in our world. Let's take to heart, maybe we can begin this week and begin to study and, and, and to meditate upon you know, the, the Beatitudes starting with today's reading and then the next day take up a, you know, another section of, 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 the, of, the, of the Gospel of the Beatitudes. We'll be going through them, you know, for, for uh, uh, the most, uh, for next uh, several weeks. So we'll be expanding upon them to see how we are to live out those Beatitudes, taking them to heart, making them the blueprint of our lives if, as followers of Jesus. My sisters and brothers, let us now offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father, that the Lord may continue to bless and care for all, le all the leaders of the church, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the Holy Spirit may grant our civic authorities a clean heart to do God's work, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who hunger and thirst may be satisfied through the generous mercy of God, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer that all who are gathered in this holy place may be brought ever closer to the heart and mind of Christ through his word and sacraments, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick members of our parish family, that God send his healing love upon them, and especially for those who are suffering from the coronavirus, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women in our parish to respond to God's call to ministry in the church, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may know the peace and comfort of God's eternal rest. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the prayers we offer with confidence and answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and fruit of the vine may become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have, lift up, we have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. 
His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> and let us pray together for the coming of God's kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray together. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Thanks be to God. And thank you for celebrating this Eucharist together. Enjoy the rest of the day. It's a beautiful day outside, so try to take advantage of it, especially, you know, for all these months being, you know, at the stay, staying at home there environment. So maybe get out and get a little bit of fresh air. Have a great day.